when a person with hearing loss asks for repetition they are usually being told oh that's fine don't worry it's nothing important i'll tell you later all these things unconsciously exclude a person uh, as a person with multiple disabilities including profound hearing loss i can say with confidence that hearing loss has been the most challenging one for me to accept to understand and to educate people around me it's hard because it is a hidden disability and there are lots of stigma and stereotyping associated with it for example if there is a person with hearing loss people assume that they cannot participate in a conversation or they cannot understand what you say September is celebrated as International Deaf Awareness Month. Did you know that over 360 million people in the world have some form of deafness or hearing loss? And additionally, more than 1 billion young people are at the risk of losing their hearing permanently due to bad or un, uh, unsafe listening practices. That's huge, especially considering how little we know about deafness and hearing loss. As a communication specialist by profession, I place immense importance on the effectiveness of communication. In this video, I'm going to share a few tips and strategies on how to communicate with a person who is hard of hearing. Some persons use lip reading, where they observe the movements of the mouth of someone to interpret what's being said. Some persons use hearing aids. These are devices which are worn in and around your ears and they amplify the sounds that they hear. Some persons use closed captioning where speech is written and noise is being described on the screen. These are mostly used for videos and online meetings. Some persons use sign language and this is where hand movements are used to communicate words, names and letters. Different people use different forms of communication and it's always better to ask them which is suitable for them before uh, communicating with the person. Say the person's name before beginning conversation. This helps them to focus attention to what you're going to say. Face the person directly. Don't speak from behind. Don't speak when you're walking. Uh, and don't speak from another room. Keep your hands away from your face when you speak because a lot of people, whether they are signers or uh, hearing aid users, they tend to rely on lip reading. So if you are eating, if you are chewing and when you are talking, it becomes difficult for them to understand speech. When you are talking to a wheelchair user, whether they have uh, hearing loss or not, make sure that you sit at their level and begin a conversation because they have to crane their neck and listen to you and that is bound to make hearing more difficult. Ensure that there is no strong source of light behind you because that makes it difficult to see your face. Position yourself in such a way that the light falls well on your face uh, and it doesn't fall on the listener's eyes because that's going to make it difficult for them to read your lips. Speak slowly and steadily. Uh, some people tend to speak very softly, they tend to mumble, while others tend to shout and exaggerate uh, their mouth movements and hand gestures. Both of these are difficult. Uh, you know, remember that we hear your words, but due to speech distortion, we may not be able to understand what the word is. So shouting makes it even more difficult to understand. This takes us to the next point. Repeat and rephrase as required. Uh, sometimes you may tend to repeat the same original word again and again, which is, uh, which is not going to uh, help them in any way. So what you can do, you can rephrase the word. For example, uh, if you're asking, hey, you write poems, right? and they are not able to get the word poems due to distortion of sound. If you keep on repeating poems, poems is going to make it more difficult for both of you. So you can rephrase and say, 
are you interested in poetry do you dabble in poetry something like that it's more difficult to understand speech when there is a lot of background noise specify the topic of discussion to the person with hearing loss in a group conversation and if the subject keeps changing just acquaint them with uh, the change of topic so that they don't miss out on the flow of conversation when you're giving important information like time date numbers uh, address email addresses uh, work schedules um, and directions you just give all of this in writing as much as possible when it comes to digital meeting ensure that your videos and live meetings are captioned as far as possible enable transcriptions uh, if it's available and uh, ensure that your cameras are on always my boss and my previous workplace insists that we all keep the cameras on uh, it is a good practice not just for persons who lip read but also for everyone to stay connected um, and to check accuracy when it comes to group conversations be it in the physical space or in the digital space take turns before speaking and avoid interrupting other speakers also mute your speakers when you're not talking all these are methods of productivity not just for persons with hearing loss but for everyone with the onset of the pandemic i didn't know that i had to face a whole new unexpected challenge to communication in the form of face masks and social distancing of course these protect us uh, from the virus these keep us safe and alive but they also cut off socializing to a large extent because face masks and social distancing makes it difficult to read lips to read facial expressions and face masks also uh, muffles speech to a large extent so what you can do is you can uh, face the person directly speak clearly and slowly enunciate your words and use gestures and visual aids like you can also write things down if they don't hear you can draw you can also opt for transparent face masks like this one you can't if you really want to be inclusive there is always a way hi everyone this is sundri welcome back to the bumblebee way this video is part of the inclusive communication series you may subscribe to the channel like the video and share with someone to help them become inclusive communicators